Brother Sister Mellow, what's going on with Brother Wisdom? The basis of the war that we're dealing with is mental. Remember, your spirit is here. So anytime it's mental, it's spiritual. Okay? Something that you must understand. The fact that our enemies want to get to us mentally in order to control us physically. Now, it is our duty to return them the favor. They want to use their tactics of fear, uh, the fear of dying, incarceration, their laws, and it's all mental. Which is why we use this forum to get to the many, many enemies who watch this very channel. And the whole point of the matter is flipping the script or turning the tables. Right now, we're in a time right now where a lot of things are happening in the celestial area of our galaxy. A moon is getting ready to, is beginning to travel from west to east. The pole shift reversal is almost in effect. The, the earthquakes have died down. You remember I told you guys when the earthquakes have completely stopped or, or almost at the point of completely stopping. This is when the pole shift happens. This is when that magnetic, that magnetic force is and everything will be in reverse. We've been so used to the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. Who would ever depict the sun rising in the west and setting in the east? So the whole point about it is facing our enemies and telling them how fragile they are, how vulnerable they are. They have to go through a whole lot to make us weak because we are strong spirit beings. And this is all about building you up. So what they would do is constantly push out this propaganda. That's why they created the media. Our ancestors didn't need television. We didn't need a broadcast because we knew who we were. We spoke to each other right here. Now we did have uh, mechanisms where we would look at devices just like I'm looking right at you guys right there. We would look at devices and talk to each other through these devices. These devices are not new at all. These are old devices that we had long ago. But these work beings want us to think that, oh, yeah, this is what we made. It's important to tap into your past life. You'll see a whole lot, a whole lot that's missing from our planet and from our people. So as the pole shift reversal is moving into effect, we must reverse the polarity of our enemies and let them know how weak they are, how vulnerable, how fragile they are. Their system is fragile. As long as we believe in their laws and the, the religion they introduce to us, as long as we believe in the, the fallacies that they presented to us, then it will appear to be factual. It will appear to be true. It will appear to be something worth uh, what, what I call deemable. 
But in reality, the lies that they have told and the things that they've done to us shows us that they are fragile. And because they are fragile, they would need to do all types of things to protect themselves from being destroyed. That's why they gotta have guns and, and all kind of laws and all kind of all kind of people running around to protect the lie. It's chronicles of war. The war is more spiritual than physical. So, you know, when I talk, tell you guys, are you ready to step out there in the war? You know, I need to know, dude, are you ready? You really ready? All right. This is why we're doing these mass meditations to weaken the system. Every time we do a mass meditation, we weaken the system even more. That's why we're going to be doing them every week. We hit it in the Vatican, and then the next Sunday we're going to be going back into another mass meditation where we're going to be uh, tapping into the feminine energy of the planet again. And the more we tap into the feminine energy of the planet, the weaker the system becomes. The wiser, see, the, the wiser we become, the weaker they become. So this message, you know, I, I look at, you know, so many other uh, of our people who are on YouTube, but this, the, the message, it's not getting out. I mean, it's, it's the, the, the real message is not getting out. We have got to render ourselves powerful. And it's all about building yourself up, knowing I am nature. These orcs cannot say that they're nature. That's why they want you to, okay, well, here's this money, and here's this new shoe. Here's this new way to do this here. And now you got PayPal, Zoom. You know, here's this here, you know, or we're going to give you more money. Like I said before, they cannot advance. So, because they cannot advance, they will continue to use the same old tactics that they used all before. They will continue to use the same old tactics. Nothing's new. That's why with them, nothing's new under the sun. But with us, there's always a new way because nature creates new energy, new powers, new consciousness, new technology. Nature is always creating something new, but for them there's nothing new under the sun because they cannot advance. But we can, and we must allow ourselves to advance. That's why I talked about, you know, um, increasing our vibrations, increasing your frequencies, you know, doing different things to, to make yourself more powerful. This is building you guys up and I'm building myself up as I talk to you guys. We spread the knowledge. This knowledge not only feeds you, it feeds me also. And believe me, I look back on my own videos. Every now and then I have to feed myself again. So it's important that we always feed ourselves. But when we feed ourselves, we must remember that we are the planet. And that at some point in time, we got to get out there and war. Are you spiritually ready? Are you ready right here? Are you practicing? Are you doing all the, the necessary things to make yourself more powerful? Are you collecting your crystals? Go on Amazon right now. Order your crystals through Amazon and other places right now before the system falls. You know, so it's highly important that we tap into this energy but we must let our enemies know that they are fridge, fragile and weak. They're feeble. They're not strong. This government they created is, 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 is weak. It's based on paper. It's based on a bunch of people making a decision that's not being honored by the cosmos. The, the Supreme Cosmic Council, the High Cosmic Council, the Intergalactic Council, the Council of Kai, the Aquarian Council, the Andromeda, the, the, the Andromeda Council, the Cosmic Elders, the Council of Dragons, the Council of Energy, the Council of Light. They don't approve of these things that these orcs are doing on the planet. They don't approve of any of this. 
but they're steadily, oh, we're going to pass this law, we're going to pass this law, we're going to pass this law, because it's all about control, because they are fragile, and those who are fragile will need to make people think that they're powerful. You get their senators alone and see how much power they got. You can say, boo, and they will drop dead because they don't know what to do. You get their representatives all oh, well, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. You weren't given this position by the cosmos. You were given this position by your people who came down here on this planet and invaded and you created your own laws. The system is fragile. These orc beings are fragile. That's why they have to try to push their think their their whole agenda, thinking that, well, if you don't have this money, then you won't have nothing. Well, how about this? If you don't have your power, you don't have nothing. If you don't have your life, you don't have nothing. Actually, you don't even have nature. You fragile, feeble beings, soulless creatures, invaders of our planet, cosmic refugees. I mean, sorry, <laughs> not cosmic refugees. You're, you're uh, 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 cosmic escapees. You, you, you actually belong at a prison where your your entire species is supposed to be um, serving a sentence until your species has been depleted. So you know you're cosmic escapees because you must serve the sentence that your bloodline escaped. So all of you orcs on the planet. Every one of your species has got to return to that place to finish off your sentencing. And because you made it here and you're trapped here, well, death is the only answer for you. You people of melanin are the most powerful beings on the planet. And you must use this power to your advantage knowing that you have no boundaries there is nothing that can hold you back there's nothing that can keep you down it's time my people that we arrive to a new life a new energy a new power and it's up to you people of melanin to do this I can't give you that new power. You can only give me that new power. I can only show you the way to the new power. It's up to you to take yourself beyond the limitations of what you can take and move into that power and energy. Move into that structural knowledge, that uh, complete wisdom. It's up to you to do this. And then when you have, have, have reached that, and like I say, it's not about time. It's about the energy that you put out. It's your thoughts. So therefore, your meditation, you seeking new love, new knowledge, you seeking new powers, seeking new gates, cosmic gates to open up, to give you a newer way of life. You're doing this in your meditation. This is your thoughts. You have the ability to go beyond where your ancestors went. And these orc creatures on our planet cannot ascend. None of them. That's why they want you to run out to Jesus and Allah and Jehovah and, and Buddha and, and, and all these other things, you know, that and God and the Holy Ghost. They want you to run out to these things because they can't go no further than this. It's impossible because they do not contain the cosmic structure to do so. But we people of melanin contain the cosmic structure. We have that ability to do so. Take yourself to the next level. 
and you tear down these work beams. Don't be ashamed. Don't be scared to walk up to them and say, you know what? Your species is the most fragile pieces, pieces of, 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 of garbage on my planet. Or tell them, <laughs> everything comes to an end this year. They don't want to hear that. Yes, everything comes to an end this year. You can try to make the, the, the winter all you want to. The planet is still hot. How is it cold over here in this land of here? Then on the other on the other side of the world, it's, it's piping hot and they're having heat waves because you're trying to control the weather. You don't want the Atlanteans to rise, but guess what? The heat is here and the knowledge is here and our people are rising. The young people are doing it silently. Our young people of Melanin are silently rising and they are obtaining knowledge that they've never known before. <laughs> because our planet is giving it off every day okay so it's time my people the system is fragile the system is weak it cannot sustain the new energy that's coming you see they shut down the 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 uh, the uh, uh, nuclear power plant in, in New Jersey and they're trying to save their other nuclear power plants this new energy, I told you guys, this new energy that's coming on the planet is going to start wiping out their power plants. I want to be talking to you guys about how to create energy from the planet. I will, be, I will be discussing that with you guys. How to create energy from the planet. It's important that we tap into this ancient knowledge and this ancient power and we advance ourselves to a higher level. Because we are the ones who can ascend and advance. We, this is our planet. This is our world. This is our galaxy, our universe, not theirs. And it's time for us to awaken within. That's why I build you up daily. I build you. I send you building blocks. So that you can ascend. And like I said, if it all of us, we walk this road alone, but we walk it together. Each one of us has a trail that we must uh, choose. But the trail is on the same road. One may go this way, and the other may go that way, and the other may go this way, and the other may go that way. But we're on the same road. We walk the road alone, but we walk it together. And as we go on the trail that we are destined to go, we may meet one or two or three or, or others on that same trail, but we're on the same road, that straight and narrow, which is the ways of the cosmos, traveling on the wavelengths of the cosmos, conscious mind, disciplined soul, disciplined heart. Highly important, my people, highly important. The system is weak. And we must tear it down and make it even weaker. Increase your knowledge, increase your power, increase your energy. Okay, my people, that's all I got for you right now. All power to the multi-shocker people, Melon, peace to you all.